Welcome everyone to your Lionsgate portal opening manifestation video. Okay, guys, um, there is about six days left for this portal to stay open. It started July 28th through August 12th, 8 8 is what we call it because August 8th is the biggest boom, powerful day of the whole portal. That's where the portal completely 100% opens and it is time to really get your manifestations out there. I mean, guys, this, if this is a time, this is the time, the biggest time of the year, like 100, right? This is where Orion comes together, right? With Sirius and they come together towards earth and align with earth. And the sun is aligned to the, to the Leo constellation and they're all in alignment and boom, that big old lion's gate is activated. So this is a huge, powerful time, guys, for wealth and infinite signs um, to get things going. So you're probably going to see a lot of signs, synchronicities. It's time to make those investments, whether it's in love and take action there or money or whatever it is that you want. So remember, if you want to invest in something, if you want love, give the love. If you want the money, make sure that, you know, you're putting the money out so that it's currency, right? It goes with the flow, right? Make sure that you're making also wise choices, okay? Um, about where you're spending your time, your energy, your money, right? Don't want to just throw things away. Um, be careful of the shadow self, right? Because the shadow self says, I may be a little ego, matic. I might be overconfident. Make sure you're using your intelligence. Don't just be over too overconfident. You might even see others doing this. If they are doing that around you, just let it pass, let it go, let it flow. They'll come back around um, because this is what's spiking from that Leo, right? Overconfidence. Just make sure you're putting out acts of kindness, lots of passion, lots of compassion at this time so that you can get the things that you really need. Okay, so let's get in here. Time to take action. So let's see what's going on using these cards. We have the cards out is the Lion's Gate, the Central Sun, and the Orion Activation. Underneath the Ishtar's Lion Gate, of course, we already know what that is. That's talking about that 44 as well, right? Having the 888, time to manifest. 44 is a talking about Material balance, abundance, resilience, and hope for the future. This is where your practicality, hard work, and stability are coming, coming from. And with this lighting gates open, it is amplified as double. You have the triple eights, which is the infinity, right? And then you have the 44 on the card because the eights are breaking into fours. So this is talking about amplified, how it's amplified at this time. And guys, we have six, you know, six retrogrades going on this month. Plus two super moons. You want to make sure that you are definitely manifesting um, and definitely during this lion's gate. So, okay, let's get in here and see what's going on underneath Ishtar's lion gate. Best message is focus on the light. Okay. Well, it is time to focus on that light. This light is saying it is time. See, that sunflower is amazing because the sunflower is saying, you know, it's amplifying also your dreams, your hopes, your wishes. Spirit letting you know that they hear your messages. Sunflowers are great. Okay, so this is a tremendous force of light and gathering around you. It is attracted to your purity of your intention to create from your heart. It is time to get your intention growing, okay? As the light grows, so does your intention. Magic wants to happen for you now. Yes, it does. That lion wants to give you your stuff. The universe wants to give it to you. That's why it gives it to you every year <laughs> at this time, right? So that way, hopefully by Christmas or whatever, you'll start really seeing things really coming in. Some things will come in faster than others. The synchronicity, perfect timing, opportunities and information that are needed will seem to be drawn right to your door. You may start to feel as if you cannot walk outside without stumbling into something helpful, wonderful, or inspiring. Okay. Keep your vibrations going, right? Just allow all to flow. 
putting yourself in that flow right now. Okay, next card coming out, loving it. Underneath the central sun, the central sun is about the abundance, downloads, regenerations, and going after that success. Whatever your, your intentions are, that sun is there to help you out. That's that light, too. <clears throat> Magnifying that sun, soul center. Bring it to, bring it into form. This is where you're going to take that 5D and bring it into the 3D. This is where the visualization is really going to come in handy for you, my friends. Right? Really wanting to visualize. Really wanting to bring that into you. Be the beautiful dreamer that you can imagine wonderful worlds of light. Once again, lots of light going on. And we have the sun. Now is the time to bring those possibilities of light into the world. They need to be more than ideas. They need to be visualized as if you already own it. We talk about this in the last manifestation video, but we also talk about this a lot um, in other videos as well. They need to live to manifest. Live where? In your mind, as if it's already, you already have it. The world needs not only your dreams, beautiful as they are, but also your creations. Get to your desk. Get to your easel. Be creative. Start drawing. If you're a drawer, you're doing magic um, through your art, right? Be who you need to be. If you're the singer, let's get singing. Bring that magic of that art again to the world. Let's see it. Let's do it. Let's be it, right? Those are for those of you who like to create, right? Be the beautiful dreamer. Don't just dream it. Live it. Kind of reminds me of uh, authors. Uh, Stephen King always used to say that he used to lock himself down inside, you know, inside his basement or a room or whatever, um, because he brings them to light so much that it's almost to the point to where he's made them living beings, right? He's made his create his creations, his characters into living people, right? He's such an active imagination, and that's why he's so wonderful. Now, I don't think that I would want to see some of his creations <laughs> come to light. Because the first thing I could think of was like um, Cujo. I don't know. I don't think I want to see that dog in my head or anywhere coming to light. But, you know, but hey, you know what? He does what he does. But he makes them into living beings as if they're sitting in front of him. He says it all the time because when he makes them real, they become more real in the book. They become living to him. Yep. And then he manifests and he does the things. And then next thing you know, he's selling a billion books, right? <clears throat> Orion act, um, activation, supernova, recreation, renewal, rebirth by the light. There's a lot of light going on over here. I just said that a few minutes ago, but what's coming out for this one? Big, bold vision. Make sure that the visions that you have are big. They're bold. If they aren't big and they're not bold, then go home. Don't do it. Right? If you can't and if you cannot trust that it's going to happen, don't even do it. I mean, right now is not even the time. I mean, literally, if you can't trust that it's going to happen, then think of manifesting something else. Because right now is not the time to not have the trust in the universe. Right now is not the time to say, I'm gonna manifest this, but I don't think that I don't think this is gonna happen. If it's not gonna happen, manifest something else. If you want to manifest a hundred thousand dollars and you really don't believe that you're going to get that and you can't get past that doubt then manifest something smaller. You can always manifest something bigger later. You know, manifest 50,000. Because really right now is not the time to manifest something and then go back on your manifestation, right? Right now it's time for big, bold visions. It's time to let the universe know exactly what it is you want. And I say about this about all the super moons and stuff though too, because in seriousness, it's like that with everything though anyways. Why do you want to manifest something you don't have any faith in? Right. But remember, the reason, too, guys, is you. this card is telling you, you were born to play, you were not born, excuse me, to play small roles in your life. You're not born to just live it small. You have dreams. You have imaginations. Just go for them. Think of it this way. If it never happened, then it never happens. But what if it does? I mean, think about that. What if I really really does like let's say it's would almost be impossible
possible if I made $100,000 a year. But then what if it actually happened? Because you gave it all this trust. What if you got some kind of promotion or you got some kind of, um, you know, uh, project going on at work or something? You see what I'm saying? Or somebody leaves you money in an inheritance. I mean, you don't know. So why even doubt it? Just do it. So it didn't come in. Then you go to manifest something else. But why would you even play it small, you know? Whatever you dream about, just put it out there. I would say 50-50 chance. You know what? It's better to be, to dream big, you know, and have it come in, you know, and not have it come in. I mean, because I'm just saying, what if it does? What if it does? I don't know. You have the ability to dream big, even if you have absolutely no idea about how your visions can come to pass. Exactly. See? Or what all the details may look like. You don't know. You're not, you're just co-creating. You're not the creator. <laughs> you can access the heart and guts of the vision by tapping into your wildest dreams and surrendering attachment to exactly how it all will work out. See, and that's another reason why we believe, too, that a lot of times it's not going to work. Why? Because you don't know the details? Because you don't know how the universe will do it? You don't know. Maybe somebody you know wins the lottery and they end up giving you $100,000. You don't freaking know. Right? I say in times like this, during these huge, huge portals, strawberry moons, the blue moon we get ready to have in just a minute. Remember, it only happens within a blue moon. What if you're manifesting it now and it happens within that blue moon? Because, you know, it happened in a blue moon. It was only a blue moon. But you're going to manifest there just the same way as you do here, just like we did on the Sturgis mood, too. I want you to dream big. <clears throat> okay? I'm just saying, you know, right now is not a time to play small. You know? I mean, look, if they don't want you to have $100,000, maybe they'll give you $50,000 anyways, right? Whatever. I mean, don't be so egomatic that it's, like, almost impossible. I mean, you don't want to do that. I mean, we, you know... But even thinking that, that, you know, even for me to think that I would make $100,000 a year or something, it would be, like, out there. I would never do that personally because it is too out there. I would bring it down a notch because I'm not that, you know, because I just don't see that happening. But, but you know what I'm saying? If it feels like it's possible but yet impossible, do it. I mean, look, because you can always dream big the next time, right? You get what you get and then do it again. Okay, guys. So we're going to do some manifestation cards. Got the art of manifestation giving us the answers. Personally, I still like to keep mine sort of what would seem impossible, but still practical enough to where you still do it. I mean, like, I'm not going to ask for a Ferrari because I would never be able to afford that. You see what I'm saying? Unless they end up giving me some, like, 1975. Do you see what I mean? There you go. They gave me a 1975 Ferrari or something, right? You can afford it. <laughs> see? But, I mean, if I'm looking for something that's built, like, 2023, it ain't going to happen. I can't even afford the insurance, let alone, you know, take care of that damn thing. And if it broke, oh, holy schniz, right? So, focus on the light, not on the problems. This card asks you to view any problem as the opportunity rather than a crisis. Whenever we identify a problem, our very recognition and acknowledgement of the difficulty creates an opportunity to see a potential solution. As long as a problem remains unseen or indeed denied, the doorways to the potential solution remains closed. So, always look towards the light and, look and focus on what? As I've been saying, focus on the solution, not the problem. And that kind of goes with the big, bold vision, though, in some ways, too, because it's really telling you, you don't know the outcome. Go for what you know you want. And look, most people's dreams are pretty practical, you know. They're usually not like rainbow farting unicorns out there, you know what I mean? So bringing into form. The 
the cycles of the moon. This card invites you to attune yourself with the rhythms of the moon. So not only are you going to go with the rhythms of the sun, but you're also going to go through the rhythms of the moon. Notice how the phases of the moon affect your energy and learn to use these energetic shifts within you to enhance your capacity to the consciously co-creative in all aspects of your life. So just kind of watch the moon at night, right? <clears throat> how are they doing that, right? Because it's bringing in leadership skills. Whoa! You are the leader. You're transforming. Look at the butterfly against the world, against the earth. You are transforming all of what you are manifesting into your own hands, into your own world. You are bringing these into light. You are, how do we know that? Because this card is about bringing it to form. You're bringing it into form from what? The 5D to the 3D. So we all lead by example our words and actions presenting a role model to everyone that we come into contact with. This card asks you to take ownership of your personal leadership qualities and align your thoughts, words, and actions with everything that you wish to see in the world. As you are manifesting, make sure you are aligned. Okay. Big, bold visions. Supernova, recreation, renewal, rebirth by light with the big, bold visions, knowing what you want to get that activated in activation bringing in your independence oh man i love that though and what shine Whew. big bold vision it's your time to shine with your independence who are you right who are you you know who you are we all have a purpose you have a mind to create see that b up there that's for the prosperity bees bring in prosperity right and knowledge so independence is the wonderful attribute, but if taken to the extreme, it can border on isolation. You don't want to do that too much, right? But you do want to kind of isolate yourself while you're in this time of manifesting, you know, manifesting, unless you're doing it within a group and you guys are kind of, um, that'll be like prayer circle. Do you understand what I'm saying? Unless you're doing it in a prayer circle type thing which means you're probably all manifesting together. Like you could do it with your husband or your wife and you guys can manifest a home and you see what I'm saying? And then you really put some power out there. In fact, I would say that if you guys are doing something like that and you're on the same page, do it together. I mean, it puts out way more energy. Okay. And always make sure that you are both giving and receiving and make sure that you are ready to receive the gift from the universe. It's your time to shine. It is your time. The universe supports your growth. Reach out and shine to the world. And tell the world what you want. Tell the universe, this is what I want. And trust in the universe. Absolutely, always. Absolutely, always. Always trust. And remember, it says, after the trust in the universe, it's always worth the wait. It's always worth the wait. Be patient. Hold fast. Know that you're waiting for the perfect timing and that you're waiting for the time to come for this, right? Always remember that because that is very, very important. Okay, I'm going to grab a couple of tarot cards over here. This is for the collective, guys. If you guys go watch all the other videos, you all have the same videos. I'm just putting it under all your signs, okay? Because last time I put it, the first one I did a couple of years ago, I put them for everyone and many people didn't get to see it. So I'm putting it all under all signs. So if you go to watch your rising moon or Venus, it's going to be the same reading. Okay. So I do them as a collective for everyone. Let's go. Best message is coming out for, yes, taking on the balance and justice. This is justice. This is for the cause and the law of attraction. Remember, law and attraction attracts what you want but it's not 100% meaning that you're going to 100% get exactly what you attracted. You need to then manifest it, take action upon it, so that it then comes through. Okay? <laughs> so you could say so much, I'm a magnet, I'm to attracting what I want when it comes to, you know, like you could say love. So you could say, I want to attract this person to my life for love, but... 
they will come in, right? They come in. But it doesn't mean that they're really 100% going to love you. You're going to have to take action, right? Really manifest that action, right? You're going to have to do things for that, right? Because manifesting is all about the action. Law and attraction is about what you're attracting into your life. But it doesn't always mean it 100% stays. The fruits of your labor and the rewards. It's talking about this is what you need to do. And don't forget to let go. Release what no. Oh, you know what? I think that was at the bottom of this. It is. Release what no longer serves you. Let go of the baggage. Release those things. Move, move on. Change. Leaving behind what no. You know, you don't need those things. Be the person you need to be. Be independent. Be courageous. Right now is the time for being courageous to go after what it is you need, right? Take the leap. Wow, there's a lot of great cards in here. I could be here all day just because I love these cards. Yeah, see? And it's like almost saying exactly, exactly what I just said. That is so crazy. So here it is together. It was release the past, take the leap of faith, right? And take action now. I. What do we do with them? We put them over here, I guess, because those are, that is exactly what I just said. And they're at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so uh, we'll just put them there because that's exactly what you're doing. It is time to take action now with the justice card. It is time to reap the rewards. So take that leap of faith. And with the six of swords, it is time to release the past. Release what never, you know, what doesn't serve you anymore. Make space for what it is you need. Come on, guys. You guys got this. Okay. Almost done here, guys. I'm actually going to get some self-healing cards so that we know kind of how to help ourselves when we're in these kind of stressed out moments and we want to keep ourselves rested. We want to keep ourselves going. We want to help do whatever it is we need to do. Then I got these other cards that, that I think you guys are going to like. I just got them for these manifestation readings. Look at that burning bowl ritual. That's funny. I just did this the other day. Burning bowl ritual. It's very easy. I'm not even going to read it from the book. You have a you have a fireplace. You have a bowl. You have a um, barbecue. Okay. However, right? You take it. Right? You write down on a piece of paper to the universe what it is you want. You write them a letter of what it is you want. Um, I don't know if anybody knows what binding is. You're not really binding, though. Okay, I don't want you to bind it because binding means get rid of. <laughs> but what you do is you take a piece of paper, you write everything on it. Okay, you kind of memorize what it is you want and you kind of you say what you're saying. So if you're attracting love, you say, Dear universe, I want so and so or I need a soulmate coming in, right? And then maybe you even have some money on here too because you're asking for two because this is the time to think big. So you can say, I, I would like a soulmate to come in and I'd also like to make this much money. As you're doing that, say, and I really like this much money. In the name of the universe. And you start doing this. A lot of you know that this is the way we bind things too, but we're not binding, we're actually giving. Okay? Instead, because otherwise, if you're binding someone away from you, you would say, I bind you in the name of the universe. But you're not. What you're saying is, I'm asking for these blessings in the name of the universe. I'm asking for these blessings in the name of the universe. I usually leave it this way. You can actually do it this way if you like. Okay? I think it burns faster this way. Light it. Okay? Light it. Let it go. When it's done and it goes out, say, thank you, universe. You give your gratitude. Thank you for allowing my prayer to go through. Thank you for this manifestation. Thank you for this gift. Make sure that you're saying thank you at the end. The universe loves thank yous. Just as you do too. I you give your kids presents and stuff. You want to thank you. Okay, so let's see what the next card is. Connect with your ancestors. It's a good time to connect with your higher self ancestors, the divine. Get in tune with yourself, with your higher self through meditation, things of this nature. That way they can see that you want what it is you want. A time to keep yourself peaceful, restful, attuned and aligned with the universe and within yourself and keeping your chakras aligned. Do you see this? These are like your chakras, right? Because this is your chakra heart, the root of it all. So from the root all the way up, you want to keep yourself aligned. Next one out is 
Ooh, I like this one. Make an altar. Some of you may want to make an altar. Okay, and you can kind of do the same thing. Say your act, you know, your aspirations. Say your da daily meditations, your prayers. However, that's for some of you. Okay. Anything else, spirit? During this time of manifestation. Chanting. You can do your ums and your ahs. Those are great for keeping yourself relaxed during the time of meditation. Ums and ahs are the sounds of the universe. You can actually Google those, okay? And those will actually keep you aligned as well while you're getting ready to manifest. That's beautiful. Okay, guys, that's all I've got for now. I mean, we could do a million, but I think that's good enough. And, you know, just kind of relax. You know, relax, take a bubble bath, do your nature walk, do the things that you know, right? That can also keep you at peace. You don't have to use any of those. Those are just great ideas for those of you who might feel like, I'm not sure what I want. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Okay, now these are what I got that are new. This is, oh, what do they call these? Um, hold on, guys, I got the box. This is called I Am Enough. Okay, these are empowering affirmation cards for self -aff affirmations. Now we have the daily healing affirmations we use all the time, but these are actually for self. Ooh, so these are going to be interesting. Okay, giving ourselves our, our affirmations. Don't forget, right, just before you start manifesting, I am love. I am worthy. So let's see what these cards say. Give us some cards, Spirit. I'm like, very excited to use these. I am living in a loving, abundant, and harmonious universe. You guys can also write these down so that way you tell yourself every morning when you wake up these affirmations. Do not feel lonely. The entire universe is inside of you. So what are you? I am living in a loving, abundant, and harmonious universe. I'd actually write these things down if you guys, you know. Or you can write them down in the comments and it will actually keep it in your subconscious. Okay, next card out. Oh, my body is perfect and I love the way it is. Oh my God, I love that one. Keep your face always towards the sunshine and shadows will fall behind you. Yes. Love that one. Love the way you're already made because God made you perfect. God made you perfect. Just the way he wanted you. I can stand in my power at all times. Do not allow anyone to take away your power, my friends. To acquire tune. Is that what it is? Oh, I'm sorry. That's true. <laughs> okay, I mean wearing glasses. I couldn't read it. To acquire true self-power, you have to feel beneath no one. Be immune to criticism and be fearless. There you go. Oh, right here. You know what? And I love this one. I'm actually going to take this one to you guys because these two right here, I think is very, very important. Those are awesome, but these two are really, really important for living. I choose to be wealthy and happy and I'm always blessed. 100. Oh my gosh. Like, there it is. There it is. When everything seems to be going against you, remember that you, that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. I'm always blessed. Be miserable or motivate yourself. Whatever has to be done, it's always your choice. So I choose to be healthy, wealthy, and happy. Yeah, I added healthy in there because you know why I think it's very important. Okay, guys. And that was it. You guys just keep manifesting. You know what you're doing. This is a very beautiful reading, right? And at the, 
you know, the bottom of the deck, you do have the Fool, the Four of Wands, the Queen of Wands, which is telling you keep that courage going. It is a time for courage. It is time to get your Nine of Cups, and there it is. Oh, my gosh. And look, you guys are just, you know what, you're on your way to victory. All of you, you're all on your way to victory, one way or another, because the Wheel of Fortune is here. And why is the Wheel of Fortune open for everyone? Because we're in the Lion's Gate. So everyone go get your fortune, okay, and start manifesting. Wow, I'm telling you, manifest and stay true to yourself and trust. Manifest and have trust in the universe. Okay, guys, till next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.